There we go, back to the culinary hotline on your Feel Good Wednesday morning. We're talking about spices this morning. Remember that number, you can phone 0839133728 if you have any comments or even questions. You want to ask our panel of food experts, the lovely Caitlin, yeah. Neil, Anthony, and Anel. What was that? <laughs> said, call yeah. in, there we go. Call in, there we go, that's what he said. Okay, cool, so, so we talk about spices, we have a whole range of spices we're talking about this morning. Um, so next up, I think, uh, Neil, this yeah. one's for you. Smoked, smoked paprika. paprika yeah. yes. Smoked paprika became very, very popular and everyone sort of bought it and then stuck it in the cupboard and realized I actually have no idea what to do with it. People were just like <laughs> chucking it randomly on things and stuff like that. It originates in the, it's mainly used in barbecue, so in the sort of south of America. Mm. Uh, what you do is you take your smoked paprika, mix it with coffee grounds, wow. brown sugar, and a bit of chili powder. Ooh, Rub that yum. on your steak before you cook it. Oh, ribs. Really? Wow. Yeah, it's all about... It, it sort of adds that smoky flavor without sort of over-dominating things. And with the coffee, is essential coffee and brown sugar. Coffee and brown mm. sugar. There that is go. such an interesting yeah. combination. I'm definitely going to try that one out. Put that on your braai this weekend. Definitely yeah. going on the braai <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> Anel, Anel, okay, wait. First, before we get to your one, yeah. we're going to be talking about nutmeg. We have Ashley on the line. Good morning, Ashley from Stellenbosch. Hi, good morning, you are. Morning, Ashley. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks to yourself. Not too bad, not too bad. What's your question around spices for our panel of foodie experts? Uh, I would just like to know, um, when I do my curries, um, usually the Durban people say that you have to fry a curry out a bit with some oil. I would just like to know, is that the truth, um, to release some flavor, or mm. are you burning the spice, actually? Wow, they're Absolutely, all unanimously yeah. nodding yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about cooking it out. Now, if you add, you know, normally with a, a, a curry, you add cumin and coriander seeds mm. and sometimes mm. mustard seeds, and you have to fry to get the essential oils out of yeah. that to add to the flavor of the dish. And mm. on that note, it's also, it's quite important when you're buying spices, and it's particularly if you're buying a lot of them, it's always best to buy them whole and yeah. then rather grind them as you use, because the whole spices keep far longer yeah. in your cupboard than the ground mm. spices. Okay. Just Similar like buying coffee beans. Correct. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay, cool. I hope, yeah. I hope that answers your question, Ashley. Thank you for the phone call. All right, so nutmeg, Anel. Yes, nutmeg is a very versatile spice, um, and I love to use a little bit of nutmeg in my bechamel sauce, or even like today, if you want to make a pancake batter, add a bit of nutmeg to your batter, and it gives a different dimension to taste. But what I really discovered these, uh, the other day was avocado nutmeg. You just grate a little avocado bit of... Avocado Yeah, on, yeah, on your... It's got that creaminess to yeah, go with yeah. it as well. The yeah. creaminess to go with it. And they say it's aphrodisiac for me. Wowza. So really? ladies, I say take out the nutmeg and your grater and grate a bit over and stand back. And so, oh, wow, you make it sound so dangerous, man. Who knew? Nutmeg sounds so yeah. innocent. Yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, wow. Caitlin, let's move on. This is also, I, I guess, a toughie for you. Mix, can you focus? Can you, can you bring yeah, it back yeah, yeah. quickly? Yeah, let's bring it back, it back down. All right. Uh, mixed spice. Uh, mixed spice. So you, uh, probably everybody has this in their cupboard now after, e uh, after Easter and all the hot cross bun mm. baking. Um, so it's a bit of a tricky one because it's got a very specific flavor. But I like to actually make tea out of it. So um, like a hot cross bun chai tea. So just take a rooibos tea bag, mix in some of that mixed spice, a few cloves. And when you, you, you brew it normally, you put it in a okay. teapot, Pass add a bit of milk. Mm. Delicious, yeah. Easy like that. Yeah, Love that's it. how well, I we can, like to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going to continue once again with our culinary hotline focused around spices. Remember that uh, number that you can phone 083-913-3728 and ask your questions. We have our judges and our panel of food experts. They will be answering all of your questions to no the judging. best of their knowledge. No <laughs> judging. No judging, <laughs> Neil says. All right. Well, it is time to check out what Zola has been up to this past while.